Hello and welcome, I am Joshi, and today we're going to be doing a on, well, I guess it'd be more on, on bagging than on boxing, but we have this wonderful bag here. Yeah, so let's get on into this. Hmm? Alright, so I believe that they are lights. Yes, they are lights. Alright, so I got these LED high lumen loom, loom lights for my setup here. Hopefully they work a little better than the ones I have. So right now I actually have these top lighting photo bulbs PB45 120 volts to 45 watts. They're not bad. They're made for photography and I've been using them kind of for this. I'm going to plug this one into this uh, light over here so that we can see kind of how it brightens it up. Without fixing anything on my actual video, this is how bright this one actually will be. I, I have it in the reflector. So that's what that one looks like. Let's see what these ones look like. Hopefully they're not broken because they did come in the mail. Whoa. These are completely... Don't want to touch really anything. Don't know if I'm supposed to take anything off or... Nope, nope. Just this bottom part, which is the adapter. Let's... Let's see how this looks comparatively. So overall, I do like these lights. This is what it looks like with these three. I don't like the shadow that they put off, which I'll show you, obviously. Like I was saying, there's like a little bar. So where that bar is, or you can look on the wall, see how they have, there's like the shadow right there. That's from the bulb itself, not from the actual umbrella. But again, it's not bad, it's just different. Again, it's something minute that you really can't see unless you're looking directly into the shadowy areas. Shadowy area? That just sounds so weird. But yeah, I could always move the light to where the shadow is not hitting the subject itself and it's just pure light. But I think that's actually what makes it a little better for the softer light. It's kind of going around it in a way, but whatever. They're they're not bad. I, I say between those and these, I would prefer those ones for the softer fill. I would prefer these ones for more of a harsher fill. I kind of do recommend these since I think they actually give off less heat than the traditional bulbs that I had in there. Well, I say traditional, but they're not really traditional since they're not like the rounded ones. But these energy saver ones uh, and these did get pretty hot even just having them on for like I think I had them on for like a minute and they were already getting crazy hot I've also had these for like two years so they're getting a little old and I did need to update they are kind of slightly hot so I wouldn't put anything directly on them I wouldn't do that with any bulb honestly uh, do you, they do make some filters that can be placed sort of close to the bulb but never directly on a bulb so if you are enjoying what I'm doing give me a like subscribe do the notification thing watch other videos I have a ton of videos okay you need to go watch them <laughs> just kidding but I enjoyed I enjoy doing this so and whenever I buy something I, I like to review it uh, only for the fact that I'm gonna use it and if I like it then I would want you to use it. I forgot that I need to put the link in the other video that I just did for unboxing, um, oh, the microphone. Whoops. Thank you, and have a good day. You stay out of trouble, and I'm going to open another box here in a second. Bye.